Okay, so what you're gonna need to make your Eevee Pokemon Autopop character is uh, an E hook, 3.5, a G hook, 4.0, um, a counter if you need it, um, a tapestry needle, some scissors, and some felt. And the first time I made it, I made the line like the pale yellow line up top and then I realized that's like his neck so the pale yellow line needs to be down under his mouth so you could do it either way I'm gonna do it the new way okay so what you're gonna do first is you're gonna take your um, worsted weight sun gold I love this yarn you're also gonna need red heart super saver pale yellow and red heart with love chocolate you don't have to use my colors you can use um, your choice it doesn't matter I try to make them as close as to the character colors as possible and this is what I found okay so what you're gonna do is take your G hook which my numbers are rubbing off anywho and what you're gonna start first is you're gonna make a slip knot because then we're going to chain. So slip knot is you put your yarn over like so. And then you're going to insert your hook. You're going to grab the yarn and pull it through and tighten. Don't make it too tight. And then you're going to chain nine. A chain is you yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So that was two, three, four, five six seven eight nine and then you're gonna half double crochet in the second chain and the second chain is not this one it's this one so half double crochet is you yarn over you insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three so let's do that again yarn over I'm gonna insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three loops so you're gonna do that all the way across you're gonna have eight half double crochet so that's one two three four five six seven and eight now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the other side of your chain and you're going to make eight half double crochet on that side so what you're going to do is you're going to turn your work you're going to yarn over go into that same stitch you just left at and you're going to do a half double crochet then you're going to go into the next one and it's kind of like X marks the spot for you. Go right in between the X's there. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. And I'm going to slip stitch to the very first stitch we made so you insert your hook yarn over pull through and then you pull through the loop on your hook and then you chain one so you did one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do four rounds of this color so I've just did one so I'm gonna do three more rounds of half double crochet all around and you should have 16 all together with chain one slip stitch chain one so let me make that and then i will see you back on the yellow line okay so and 16. so i've done one two three four so one two three four okay so now i'm gonna do um the row around with the pale yellow so i get my yarn ready 
and I'm not going to chain one when I slip stitch here. So I'm going to slip stitch. Okay, but this is how I change my colors. I'm sure there's another way, but this is how I like to do it. So this is how I add mine. I get my yarn and I pull through and then I chain one. And then I tighten it all up. So then I do one round of half double crochet around. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, and then I'm gonna slip stitch, but I'm not gonna chain one, so I'm gonna slip stitch. And then I'm gonna go back to my other color here and chain one. Okay. So I need 11 rounds of half double crochet and we just did one, two, three, four, five. So I need six more rounds of the darker color. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, slip stitch. And now we chain one because we're staying it with one color and you can cut that color off. Get that out of here. Okay, so we need 11 half double crochet rounds all together, right? So we did one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need five more rounds of half double crochet, but don't cut it off. Okay, I am on my last round. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're gonna slip stitch and chain one. And now we're just gonna do a round of single crochet. Oh, I'm sorry, a single crochet is you insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, insert hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through both loops. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, insert hook, pull through, pull through, chain one, and snip, snip. Okay. So this is the body of the Otter Pop. So knit Otter Pop holder. So now we're gonna make the ears. And to make the ears, you take your, <clears throat> excuse me, your E hook and your chocolate, and, okay, oh my gosh, these hummingbirds. So you're going to chain eight, so we're going to do another slip knot, and don't forget your E hook. And you chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Then we're going to single crochet in this first stitch. I'm sorry, 
single crochet in the second stitch from your, so oh my gosh, single crochet from the second chain, oh my god, single crochet in the second chain from your hook, so single, then you're going to single in the next one, then you're going to half double crochet in the next three, so half double, half double crochet, and half double crochet. Then you're going to single crochet in the next one. And then you're going to make three single crochet in that last chain. So one, two, three. Okay, and then we're going to turn our work and we're going to single crochet in the uh, next chain here. And then we're going to half double crochet three down. Half double crochet, half double crochet, and half double crochet. Then we're going to single crochet in the next and single crochet in the last. Chain one. And we're going to tie it off. Okay, so our ear looks like that. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay. I know it's kind of hard to see out here. Okay, let's make one more ear and then I'm going to show you what to do with them. Actually, you know what? Let me just show you with this one and then you can bust out the other one. So then you're going to take your sun gold, still your E hook. You're going to take your ear and at the bottom, first stitch you're going to attach a yarn and you're not going to chain one because you're going to slip stitch all the way around so you did that then you go to the next chain grab your yarn and you pull through and then you just pull through then you go to the next one insert hook pull up your yarn and then you pull through. So we're gonna do that all the way around. You stop it. Then you're gonna chain one and you're gonna leave a tail long enough to attach it to your otter pop. So let's make one more ear. Okay, so I made my two ears, but now I need to weave in all my ends. Okay, um, I should have mentioned this before. I kind of left this part and the long one, um, kind of left it because it's a different color than the brown and I'm weird about colors matching. So, I'm gonna take this short one Oh, get in there, punk. Okay. And I'm gonna do it at the end here. Okay. 
Okay. Really? Okay. So I'm gonna use that one and then the rest, I'm gonna use the long tail. So one, two, three. I'm gonna kinda go back in that sick what the heck? I went the wrong way, huh? Okay, in there. Then I go up here. Go back in that same stitch. You can attach it however you want to, this is just how I do it. There's one, and then we do this one. One, two, three. Back in that same stitch, you better quit. Why are you giving me trouble? All right, center goes with center. Are you effing for real right now? What's wrong with this thing? Goodness sakes, okay. I'm almost there, folks. Sheesh. Okay. Good land, we made it. Okay, so you got your ears, and I forgot to mention you need black thread <laughs> to make the mouth and the nose. So sorry. All right, let's tie our ends in. Okay, so I weaved in all my ends. Okay, so now the next step is to do the mouth, the nose, and get some felt for the eyeballs. And let's go do that in my craft room, because I don't have it outside. Okay. Okay, so let's finish up our little Ewe Otter Pop cozy here. What I did is I literally, I learned to talk first. I literally um, just eyeballed some eyeballs. <laughs> That's, oh my gosh. I just cut them. There's no template. I just, whatever. And then I try to get another one as close as possible. And then I made a pupil with white yarn, just two strands. And I made a knot in there so it doesn't go through the felt. <clears throat> I made another knot. Get in there. So I made the knot. That's not it. That's it. Then I went back in there, pulled through to make the little eyeball. And then I just um, just chopped it off because I'm gonna hot glue everything. Get off. 
I'm a hot glue fanatic. Just makes my life easier. And then I just kind of glue it on there so it doesn't go anywhere. And then I take the eyeball I made and I'm putting it one, two, three, kind of one, two, three. So kind of like right here. Maybe a little bit higher because I changed my... So that's gonna go, I think, right here because then, then I gotta do the nose. So if I do it up here, then I gotta do the nose and the mouth. So that's about right. So let's do it on one, on the second line here, or second row, round, second round. <laughs> okay, that's one eyeball. Now I gotta get the second eyeball pretty much the same. about right. Maybe a little bit lower. That's okay. So we don't need that. We're gonna need our black. So I got two strands of black. Made a knot at the end. So we can sew the facial. Okay, so the nose is kind of in between the eyes. So if we go... Right there. I'm gonna go right here because then that kind of ties off my... You go down. Why are you so sideways? Okay, let's make another... Well, how's that? Is that how we're going to roll? So we're going to have sideways nose. Okay, I've been trying to do this face for like ever. And then I realized I think I just did like a little half smirk. So we're going to just do a little half smirk. If it isn't a smirk, whatever. That's what we're going to do. over one more. I think I like that the best. If I did another one, that's gonna look funky. So we're gonna leave it like that. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose my marbles. Alright, so then... We tie it off. And after forever of making a face, you have your Iwi Otter Pop Cozy. There he, she, I don't know, I'm sorry, I don't do Pokemon characters. I'm sure my daughter would know. So then you just insert your freezer pop of choice. They also fit the um, adult size Otter Pops, the ones with the alcohol or a Go-Gurt, whatever you want to stick in there for your kiddo. So there you go. I hope you guys like them, make them, share them, follow, subscribe, all that great stuff. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.